Hey guys, this is Ry123 again, and welcome to your seventh Roblox building tutorial. Um, in this one, we're going to be, um, what are we going to be? Oh yeah, we're going to make it so that John can talk to us. Now, there's two ways to do that. One of them requires scripting, but we aren't in the scripting section of these tutorials yet. If you want to watch those, you're going to script ha um you're going to want to skip ahead a few i'm probably going to label them so you know which one is scripting and which one is building but like we've been doing these first few are just building so like maybe you don't want a script or you aren't very good at typing so these ones are just for um <clears throat> building stuff and like different properties and such but we will get into scripting later don't worry so we're going to make John talk to us using something called a dialogue. So we're going to come over here to our basic objects and we're going, sorry, click on John first. Then we're going to, and I don't see it because I'm retarded or dumb, click on John's head in the model then come over here finally and insert a dialogue and it looks like that and if you notice you don't see any change to the viewer window there's nothing new in here it's all over in the explorer it's right in the head underneath the mesh so what a dialogue is is it's kinda like a pop-up bubble above a person's head that you can use to talk to them so let's just go over a few of its properties conversation distance is how far away you want to be able to for people to click on John's thought bubble and be able to talk to him if they're farther away than this it'll just say you're too far away to talk um, and I think it's measured in studs like these little dots so let's just leave it at 25 that's a good distance um we'll get back to initial prompt leave in use unchecked um that'll take care of itself that's just his name that's where it, um so here's some things that you might want to change though these are kind of what the these two define what the thought bubble or the speech bubble looks like help quest and shop so if you've ever seen before the thought bubble before you click on it will just have like something in it if it's help it'll have a question mark if it's quest it will have a exclamation mark and if it's shop it'll have a dollar sign so let's just click on quest his tone is how you want him to sound and basically though it's for it's more for RPGs but you can all just so just use it for colors like enemies red friendlies green neutrals blue so let's just make him friendly just so we can have a green thought bubble with an exclamation mark in it because its purpose is for a quest and we're just gonna make John say just a simple hey how are you and then let's go ahead and test it out member tools test play solo And then we'll have to wait forever for my game to load. I oh, I guess it didn't open it. There's our spaz windmill from the last tutorial. And it looks like John doesn't want to talk to us, which is weird. Oh, there it is. Just took a while to load. So, as you can see, just like we said, it's a friendly quest thought bubble. So, it's green with the exclamation mark. And we click on it. He says, hey, how are you? Now, sometimes when you're talking to a person, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to want to be able to say stuff back and to have him reply. Like if you're making a role-playing game or whatever. So, we're going to click on John again. Go find his dialogue. Um, click on his dialogue and this time we're going to come back over to our basic objects 
and we're going to insert something called the dialog choice. This will let us continue further on into the um, conversation and it only has two properties that we really need to worry about for right now and one of them is um, user dialog. So after John says hi how are you right here in the corner of our screen will pop a box that gives us different choices depending on what dialog choice we have inside of our dialog. So with this one we're gonna say good how are you so when we click on John's thought bubble or speech bubble and he says how are you over here there's gonna be a choice that says good how are you and then response dialog is what we want John to say back to us so John's gonna say I'm well thank you um so that's one choice and then if we want if we aren't feeling good today and we're gonna say click on dialogue and we're gonna put in another dialogue choice um, and I apologize in advance this tutorial is probably gonna be a little bit longer than the last few and this time we're gonna say I'm not doing very well today then John will say, um, that's too bad. What's wrong? So if we say we aren't doing very well to John, he's going to ask us another question. And we want to be able to answer that question. So we click on the dialog choice where John asks us another question. And we just put in another dialog choice. So now it goes dialog, dialog, yeah. It just branches off. And then, oh, I have to click on that one. Then we can say, like, so, yeah, if John says, what's wrong? We can say, like, my house burnt down. And then John can say, that's too bad. And let's just copy and paste that so we can, like, give John other reasons why we aren't feeling good. We can say, like, my dog ran away. And I guess two is fine for now. So let's just test it out and see if all of our multiple conversation paths work out and for some reason it's not popping up like on top again so we'll just load up our guy in a moment there we go with our super spaz windmill and our trampoline our door, and then we'll just wait for John's speech bubble to load. What happens if I touch this? <laughs> That's cool. Okay, come on, John, load your speech bubble. I'm doing a video here. Recording always, and it's probably that thing too. I'm gonna have to slow that down, but. Okay, it seemed to work last time when we clicked on it, so let me just go into John and see what's up. There it is. Sorry about that, guys. This tutorial is probably going to be like two minutes longer now just because John doesn't want to talk to us for like 20 minutes. So he says, hey, how are you? And as you can see, like I said, now we have some options just like you've probably seen in other games so you can say like goodbye that's a preset roblox one i know we didn't put that and if you see if we're out of that 25 it just says you too far away but we can set it longer or shorter as we want so let's go down one of our things so if we say good how are you he says he's well just like we told him to but if we aren't feeling well 
he'll say, what's wrong? And then we can pick our choice. So how about our house burned down today? He says, that's too bad, just like we told him. Um, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, please be sure to leave a like, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe for more tutorials. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.